So the OnePlus Nord has been released with the Snapdragon 765G. And today we're gonna to be testing against the OnePlus 8. Now, while the OnePlus 8 should win, the question is by how much? So let's find out. So we have the OnePlus Nord with the Snapdragon 765G on the left-hand side. We have the OnePlus 8 with the Snapdragon 865 on the right-hand side. So this is 700 series versus 800 series. The 65 in the 700 series versus the 65 in the 800 series. Now, of course, we will expect the OnePlus 8 to win because it is an uh, Snapdragon 800 series processor inside of it, but the question is by how much? And of course, there are other differences between these two devices, including the specifications of other things like cameras and so on, and of course, the prices. And as I'm saying that now, the OnePlus 8 has gone into the 16 thread test, so it's doing 16 different tasks running on an octa-core processor to see how well it handles not only the multitasking, but also all the processor cores being worked fully hard. And as I said that, it's already gone into the blur test, which is the first part of the mixed CPU, GPU part of this test, while the OnePlus uh, Nord has now gone into the 16 thread test. So really the OnePlus 8 is a whole test ahead at this moment as we are in the infinite scrolling list and now into the smoke particle test as the OnePlus Nord has now finished the 16 thread test. 28, 29 frames a second on the right hand side. Remember that when we see the smoke particle test on the left hand side. But as I've said that the OnePlus 8 is already into the new test. It's 3D flyover. This really is just quite an extraordinary performance by the OnePlus 8 compared to the OnePlus Nord. A big difference being open up here there we go end of that and we're now into the unreal test and on the left hand side we have now got to the smoke particle test what was that frame rate 28 29 on the right hand side what would it be on the left 19 19 frames a second on the left hand side so a big deal. there we go one minute 27.5 for the one plus eight and only now is the one plus nord going into the unity test now remember the one plus nord has the snapdragon 765g which has got two big cores both cortex a76 one of them clocked slightly higher than the other and six cortex a55 cores and the adrenal 620. On the right hand side in the OnePlus 8 we have four Cortex A77 cores, so a whole generation different. One of those clocked much higher than the other one and then the, the Arduino 650. So a big difference here in terms of the uh, layout of the CPUs. Cortex A77 of course is Cortex A76 4 versus 2, 4 versus 6. So really this is the difference here and the Arduino 620 and the Arduino 650. Big difference here as we're seeing now the OnePlus Nord go through this final part of the test What's the final time going to be? It's obviously a decisive win by the OnePlus 8. And let's have a look. There we go. 2 minutes, 21.3. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened there. So as we saw, there a decisive win by the OnePlus 8, 1 minute 27.5, and then 53.8 seconds later came in the OnePlus Nord, 2 minutes 21.3. In terms of CPU, 57.5 for the OnePlus Nord, 38.9 for the OnePlus 8, so a win there of 18.6 seconds for the OnePlus 8. And in the mixed CPU, GPU, 30 seconds on the nose for the OnePlus Nord, 22 Point 0.5 for the OnePlus 8, that's a difference of seven and a half seconds. Then when we get into the GPU, we can see 53.8 and then 26 seconds. So there's a difference of 27.8 seconds, so double the time, really more than double the time. And of course, when you add up all those wins for the OnePlus 8, a decisive win there by over 53 seconds, one minute 27.5. My name's Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I have more OnePlus Nord tests coming soon. So if you'd like to see those, then please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.